For decades EA has had a terrible reputation with gamers, having a habit of ruining beloved game franchises, charging lots of money for season passes, DLC and microtransactions, many gamers online literally hate them. It's not a surprise that in 2012 and 2013, two years in a row, they were officially named the worst company in America by the consumerist, a title they sure weren't proud of. But you know it's the crazy thing? I never really felt that same level of anger towards the company, until now. You see, years ago Electronic Arts was already getting lots of criticism, and insults were thrown at them left and right, but I always found it hard to feel the same way, for the simple reason that, while I didn't care for half of their games being sports titles, they used to be responsible for creating some of my favorite games at the time. The original Mirror's Edge remains to be a game I consider to be among my favorite games ever. A cult classic that didn't sell well, but man did I love that game. Understandably so, DICE decided to focus more on its popular franchise Battlefield, a realistic feeling first person shooter that I've also enjoyed many installments of, with my personal highlight being Battlefield 3, featuring a combination of gameplay and maps unoffered anywhere else. Speaking of popular games, I don't think I even have to mention the Mass Effect trilogy. It was one of the series that defined the last generation. And then there's EA Skate. It was the perfect alternative to Tony Hawk games, which had become mediocre, stale and outdated at the right time. The realistic control scheme, amazing vibe and soundtrack and fun gameplay that focused on skateboarding at its core was just unmatched in a game like Skate 2, therefore becoming an all-time classic to me. These games were fun, like the SSX reboot in 2012, like the older Need for Speed games that we've all put hundreds of hours into. Hell, I missed out on some games back in those days that I regret now, like Dead Space that started with a cult status but received this amazing critically acclaimed sequel, or the Medal of Honor games in the early 2000s that were the go-to first person shooter games at the time. Like I said, a thing afraid by many gamers to admit, but that I'll say with full conviction is that EA made some great games and the variety of them that made me able to look past the often bad business practices which wasn't easy to do but not too hard either, seeing as companies like Activision weren't really much different yet they didn't have that same library of games that I cared for. But fast forward to 2017, and what is the current status of almost all the before mentioned titles? Mirror's Edge was brought back from the dead 8 years later with Catalyst, and while still a good game, the generic Ubisoft style open world approach surely didn't do many favors for them. The game sold miserably, and I'm convinced that this is the last we'll ever hear from the franchise. Mass Effect Andromeda released just a few months ago, and while it was supposed to be the start of a new trilogy, EA just announced that the franchise was put on hold indefinitely after the flat out debacle surrounding the bad animations, creative choices and disappointing quality of that game. Skate 3 was released in 2010, merely a year after the last one came out, no wonder it initially didn't sell well. Developer Blackbox was closed and apart from trolling the screaming dedicated fanbase every now and then, EA's dealings with the series seem over. SSX never heard from it anymore, Medal of Honor, mediocre reboot and thus cancelled, Need for Speed, that taken a time which is good, but the games surely aren't what they used to be. And Dead Space, it's in the name already. So much potential wasted and we're not even done yet. Titanfall 2 released to critical acclaim, both for its single player and multiplayer, but what did EA do? Release the game a week after Battlefield 1, sending an awesome game straight out to die. Criterion, developers of the great Burnout games, another dead series I didn't even mention, had its new extreme sports IP, which looked amazing, cancelled so they could work on Star Wars games. And that brings me to another topic, Star Wars. In 2013 EA signed an exclusive deal allowing them to make Star Wars games. That's understandable, it's a massive IP that will undoubtedly bring in lots of money, but it's from this moment on that everything for the company has gone downhill. Out of the 7 studios currently making EA games outside of the sports titles, being Criterion Games, DICE, Bioware, Ghost Games, Visceral, Motive and Respawn Entertainment, 6 of them are now making Star Wars games, yes 6, the only exception being
be in ghost games and why to make another Need for Speed. Now don't get me wrong, while I'm personally not a fan of the franchise, I am fine with Star Wars games being made, but does that really mean we need that many of them? In recent times, EA has become even more aggressive to cut out the so-called fat. Once a game in a franchise underperforms, that's the moment where all the plugs are pulled. Regardless of who is to blame, even if it's EA itself with bad release timing or business decisions that they know gamers will hate, it's at this moment where it's decided that there's no future for the property anymore whatsoever and the company has scrapped the term long-term investment from its vocabulary. So much creativity and awesome IP have been lost because of this and that is truly sad to see. While gamers keep loving to vocally spew out that dislike towards electronic arts and understandably so, the root of the problem lies somewhere else. The issue isn't so much that EA is a bad company that makes bad games, it has become a boring company. And while some franchises like Dragon Age, Battlefield and Need for Speed are still bringing in money and will keep getting sequels every now and then, creativity and originality is now far to be found. Last year's E3 press conference was on such a low level it almost became unbearable for me to watch and I'm certainly not expecting much better this year. Back in the days, my description for EA used to be a shitty company that makes good games, but that has become completely irrelevant. Sadly, at this point, the motto has become, if it ain't sports, it better be Star Wars. Thanks a lot everybody for watching this new episode of My Opinion Sucks, I hope you really enjoyed it. My bad that it took so long for it to come out. Basically these videos simply take a lot of time to make so I can't release them as frequently as I'd like to. Uh, but nonetheless, I hope you really enjoyed this episode on EA. So let me know your thoughts in the comments of course. And if you liked the video then please help support me by leaving a like, sharing the video with your friends or even better by becoming a patron and supporting me making these videos possible like all the people next to me that right now are supporting me at patreon.com slash robbinggaming. I'd really appreciate it. And then with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comments. So for now, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again next time.